Um, like I was saying on an earlier video, I, sometimes if you want something really nice to eat, you've just got to come into the centre of town. And, um, that's uh, what I'm doing today. There's a bit of sunshine around and uh, that's, uh, it makes everywhere look wonderful. Nice and busy by the looks of it. See if we can park at this end of town. Yeah, I never know you're lucky in a big city. Enough to get out. So I'm going to pull over a bit. I must be able to. What a beautiful day. Some days just can't be spoiled. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of the day, folks. I'm just going to turn off here and put my camera on and all the rest of it. And I'll show you around centre of town. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> ah. Four pounds. What's that about? Uh, about eight dollars, I suppose. Anyway, that's what you get for the privilege of parking in the middle of town. Well, it's not quite the middle, but close enough to all the things that we like to see. I'm going to put my ticket on display. This area is known as St Giles. Let's see if I can give you a steady hand while I'm doing this. Yeah, St Giles. Which of course is famous for the, um, the memorial for the, for the martyrs. Those that were put to death by the Catholic organisation. And so, but it is nice to see the place looking really nice again. Just around the corner from here, 
it's a small place, but it's very much more enjoyable because of the uh, proximity to all the unis. to a lot of cities around the world and I don't know what it is about Oxford but I do love the place I think a lot of it's with how it looks I don't necessarily get very close to the intellectual heart of this place I have a little bit to do with the music but not in a studious sort of way there's the uh, Memorial to the Martyrs. I'll see if I can take you up close. Put this drink in my pocket. And sorry, the amount of shake that's on here might not be worth putting up. See what it says on the um, plaque. Take it down. Back a bit. Sorry, folks. I'll have to um, pull back a bit. Help but love this place. <laughs> and look, this is where they let the Catholics back in. Mary Magdalena. Steady's up okay. <laughs> Sorry for that. That's um that's Corn Market Street. I head down that way for a bite to eat. And this is Broad Street round here. I'll take you in a little bit along here because it's the actual place where they uh, put the martyrs to death. You can't help but love this place, eh? I've never sat down without a conversation. Usually, you know, sitting down having to eat. There's not all the other gas bags around here. <laughs> uh, this is lovely and silent and dead at night. This street. It's, uh, got a 
appropriately buzzing along this time of day. down here quite often because of uh, Blackwells, which is over there, the, the blue shop, that's where I get all my music supplies, music, uh, manuscripts, etc. Good supply, good supply of CDs too. <coughs> As you can probably see straight ahead there, there's a Sheldonian, that's one of those tour buses. I want, I want to take one of those because it's a great advantage point. I should get up there with my camera and take you around that way. I'm going to sit down for, for a tick. Oops. Sit down, set a trip down. Just sitting there, immovable, not going anywhere, not affected by the wind or anything. Wind, heat or rain. Well, let's go by the shelter, shall we? Street here, it goes all the way through to High Street, and up on the right hand side, there's a, there's a, a cobbler's there where I buy my shoes. I like to say I bought my shoes. Place is Wellington bought them. The only thing I didn't buy any Wellingtons. <laughs> This is what's special about these places, is that I've been here for quite a few years, and wherever you go, whenever you go, <laughs> I do quite a bit of walking, you see new places every time. There's something new that you missed. <clears throat> for any Morse fans out there who enjoyed the Inspector Morse series, this was, uh, well, this area was featured a lot, but the White Horse over there, a very tiny, tiny little pub, is where they often had their lunch. Him and Inspector Lewis, Sergeant Lewis. <coughs> now, this is the Sheldonian. That's the Museum of Natural History, but. Sheldonian. There goes me hat. Bugger. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, there's the Sheldonian. I'll take a little walk around its around its girth. <laughs> it's amazing, even on beautiful days like this where there are tourists all over town, you know, there's little quiet spots that some magnificent doors that never seem to be open or go anywhere. <laughs> Talk about a boys club, eh? <laughs> That's a fabulous looking town, let me tell you. Absolutely wonderful looking town. And of course, other people think it's the, the hotbed of, <laughs> you know, the, the new world order or what have you. There was a lot of very godly scholarship went on in here. I'm Mark Wycliffe, Tyndale. <laughs> That's the uh, riverside. Uh, sorry, 
the Bridge of Sighs over there, so named because it, uh, they often cross there after they've going to or coming from their exams. <laughs> Wow, I'm really privileged to have this um, this beautiful unique area almost myself. Magnificent. Every view's a gem. <laughs> you don't have to move half around a corner to something to take your breath away. This is an interesting walk yourself around here. It's just, this is probably the older part of the town. <coughs> There's a nice old tavern down here I've been to quite a few times, the turf. A little dark alleyway. <coughs> And you come to a nice little bar. Now there's all these famous people of um, kings, queens, celebrities, etc. They're all hung on the wall there as having visited. Fish and chips. Oh, fancy that. Couldn't get to get to mention. Ah. Still sit down somewhere. Ah. And while the sun was out, I thought it was a bit too shady in there. I thought I'll um, sorry. Sunshine's what's what's called for here. Don't get out much of it. So out of these dark alleyways and dark little taverns, back into the sunshine. Walked and died. I actually wish I could tell you the names of the colleges as I can't mind, but I don't know them. Edmund Haley. Does that mean anything to anybody? This 
is why this town looks fabulous to get corners like this. It goes around another corner like that. With uh, fabulous lights like that. Is that for a door? See quite a bit of the old series moving around here as well. See? <laughs> so, so you have this blind corner. You come around here, and what do you get? You get a few like that. Isn't that fabulous? Isn't that fabulous? Once we come onto this street, how's that? Okay, that's fantastic. Oh, that's such a nice place. <laughs> I know I do go on, but I am walking, I don't talk too well while I'm walking. I'm very fit, that's probably why. Nasty new construction, yuck. Uh, is it new or restorative? It's pretty new to me. Restorative. There's plenty of money in Oxford. I'm not crying out for a quid here, I can assure you. I mean, look at this. For just a superb walk. And they're beautiful, fabulous high walls. And there's old windows in them. Just fabulous. This isn't all that bumpy as we go on. And obviously, there's no turn off this road that we just done you. Yeah, you come in here for a purpose, or you go right out the other end. More fabulous um, college grounds. Most of Oxford, of course, is out of sight to the general public. Well, you've just got to be impressed with the way this town's built. Great meanders. <laughs> Can't get in that way anymore. Camera. My camera would have turned off by now. It would have got too hot. And I've got a feeling this might be Queen's College here on my left. Or it could be on the right. I'm not sure. I could go and show you John Wesley's room. <laughs> but we might do that for another day. Yeah. 
my street. Onto High Street, eh? I'm going to cross the road and sit in the shade. This is where all the bus drivers um, sit, get their brakes there, and they take up their new shift there. The Grand. Man, those are cool glasses. I like them. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah. And you go to Australia with an inheritance, uh, an inherit heritage of about 200 years old, and they won't let you paint anything other than green or brown. The Oxford here, where it's centuries old, centuries and centuries old, and. You can paint whatever colour you like. Pink. Gold. Some greens and blues and... <laughs> it's quite a colourful place in a lot of ways. Alright, I'm going to turn off. I'll be back in a bit. Alright. I'll make my way back round to High Street. Oh, sorry, from High Street here, back round to Corn Market Street. I believe that's Queens over there. Of course, you've got colleges on either side of the street here. Don't know what this one is. It makes sense. None of them say it on the door. That's why you don't really get to know what they are. They don't advertise. <laughs> so. Right, so I'm sure you can see why I love this place. Cigar merchant. <laughs> Been there once or twice. Mostly electronic cigarettes these days. Peckish now. It's time for something to eat, I think. Mean. What do you reckon? This whole town. <laughs> when I was uh, living in the centre here with uh, my mate Chris, we often walked around here and the Early hours of the morning. Oxford with no people. Ooh, who's got a sweet tooth amongst you? Oh, custard tart. Ooh. Ooh, yum. Quad. I've eaten there quite a few times with my sister and a few other friends and business people. You don't go if you're hungry. <laughs> There's those skies, chemical skies. Famous old tree here that's been supported <laughs> with various iron bars and things over the centuries. It's a very old tree. My cross here, eh? <laughs> well, this is one obviously university college wouldn't go to. St. Mary the Virgin. Yucko. Yeah, so. This is one of these metal supports. This is actually quite a new one. This wasn't one that was there last year or the year before when I was there. Sort of meanders. Meanders up. St. Mary's Passage. 
I could take to the top of the St. Mary's Tower. It's a great view of the city. Uh, will I? I need something to eat first. Actually, they've got something to eat there. I've come to think of it. Let's go and have some Catholic food. <laughs> and the Bodmium uh, Library's around here, of course, coming up. <laughs> That's why I love this place. Every little alleyway you turn down, you end up with beautiful architecture, the likes of which you won't see anywhere. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Everywhere. We're oh, going to have a bite of over there, eh? I thought I remembered they had a cafe. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks, but you're going to have to see a little bit of... We're doing some restorative work here on the Bodleian Library, too. <laughs> Construction bars everywhere, sorry. <laughs> Yes, there's a, a great view from the top of the tower there, of the city. If the lunch is good enough, the afternoon tea is good enough, I might have enough strength to get us up there. Food, so I'm back out on the street <laughs> heading for somewhere else. <coughs> the sunshine's uh, well hidden by him. Yeah. I will take you in there one of these days if you folks are interested. <laughs> I have a book, uh, I have a Bible, um, a printing of which. The only other copy is in this library. <coughs> Very fortunately, I found myself bidding for it a few years ago. <coughs> and I was bidding against the Bodleian. Because <laughs> mine's a better copy. There's a bit of trivia. <laughs> and here's where Wycliffe uh, went to college. He did his Hebrew and Greek. It's Hartford College, this. <coughs> Not too interested in theology these days. <laughs> and there's the access, of course, that you can get via the Sheldonian. New College, which is down there, is in fact the oldest college in Cambridge. In Oxford, <laughs> Cambridge. Wash my tongue out. <coughs> Excuse me. So we we're back around here, and I'm in search of food. And we'll go back through here. I'm overdressed with these long walks. It's very hot. <laughs> it's a nice little thoroughfare, let's use it. Benefactors of the university. Reception, admissions, personnel. Where's in the shade? This is the Saldonia, of course, from the coming from the other side. Back into Broad Street. I'm going to put the phone down so I can swim my arms and talk to you in a bit. Uh, so something I said neglected to show you when we were coming in to Broad Street 
was the um, memorial spot. part of it but this actual spot here the actual spot there is where endless martyrs were killed by the Catholic organization by the wicked organization known as the Roman Catholics murdered and slaughtered good men of God right on that spot that was a little bit towards the so we've done a little bit of a walk around the south of Oxford and uh, we can tackle the north and other directions another time but I will turn on again shortly after I've had something to eat okay it's just uh, near where the cars parked uh, here we have the entrance to St John's College I'll just have a little peek. You can't go in at this time of day. Now close to business. St John's. There you go. All good. 